Here to help us take a trip down memory lane, Fox News contributor and our media guy, Joe Concha. Joe, happy Tuesday to you. It's going to take some time, so let's start the scroll. Roll it. Now, literally, we need an untimed Fox Nation special to go through all of them bit by bit. We don't have that kind of time on this show. So, Joe, which of these was the most egregious to you? Oh, boy. I mean, that's a lot to choose from, isn't it, uh, Todd? Uh, uh, look, uh, this is not a media show, reliable sources. And I, I used to go on the show uh, fairly often uh, years ago, mind you. And, uh, you know, it, it, this is like giving MySpace a program to solely talk about how horrible Facebook is or Burger King to tell you how horrible <laughs> McDonald's is. It's cheesy oppo research is reliable sources, the current version. And, and CNN is a rival, by the way, to Fox News, the way the New York Jets are a rival to the New England Patriots. Uh, there is no rivalry. Uh, the numbers in most time slots show this network is tripling and even quadrupling CNN. Uh, so th there isn't much competition here. Uh, but all that said, I, I think ignoring the fact that the Steele dossier was completely and totally debunked, finally, and, and we've talked about that for a while now, I, I think that's the biggest deal. Because you think about the dossier, Todd, and, and the fact that it drove a news cycle for three years during the Trump presidency. Presidency and, and and everything that was in it, all the salacious things, was discussed endlessly on CNN. And, and the fact that now that that now is worth the paper was printed on, and a media show doesn't cover the fact that so many news organizations were duped by this dossier, which led to the Russian mm -hmm. investigation, which dominated the Trump news cycle. I, I think if you ignore that, then you're no longer a media show. Uh, you are engaging in the bias of omission, which is the most insidious uh, bias there is as far as not telling viewers something uh, that obviously should be very important to them, particularly if you're a media show. And Joe, we've actually got something from the Washington Post here, an opinion piece uh, that talks about CNN's fake reckoning over the Steele dossier. And it says, we are Stelter yeah. to explain the dossier's omission. No on the record comment uh, replied CNN, who are a stickler for public transparency, frankly, via DM. Look, it would have made for some interesting television, I think, given CNN's own role in hyping the alleged corroboration of a document that has fallen apart bit by bit ever since its January 2017 publication uh, by BuzzFeed News. But I, I suppose also they he st stayed away from reporting on a lot of the CNN stories, a lot of the Cuomo stories. They did mention it occasionally. But where were the big Cuomo scandals that could have been mentioned as well? I guess it's difficult to report on yourself when it's negative. But surely they had to have done more on that point. Uh, well, you would think, right? And, and look, you're right, Benjamin. Let, let's be fair. You know, it's it's their network. And as I said, it's not so much a media show as it serves as PR for the network sometimes or engages in crisis management and trying to explain away some things like the Chris Cuomo story and reliable sources, to its credit, did talk about it uh, for, for a bit, but but not nearly as much as it should have been broached. Uh, also, the, the Jeffrey Tubin scandal uh, was, was barely broached as well. Um, and then that's that's something that obviously people say, wait a minute, here you have uh, your chief legal analyst engaging in what he did. Uh, and then the network still gives him a happy ending. That that's that's, you know, that's something that I think at least could have been discussed in some way uh, like that, where, where you could use puns and so on. But no, but 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 CNN in the end, guys, is more of a competitor of MSNBC and MSNBC was only broached 36 times on this media show in 2021. Fox News was mentioned. 765 times on that. So that, that's all that this, this show exists for is to say, ah, look, see how bad Fox is. Let's tell you how bad Fox is. And then they bring in guests that support a narrative. And it's become so predictable, this show, that it has lost nearly 75 percent of its viewers when you compare it to the beginning of this wow. year. Think about this. Nearly eight and 10 viewers that were watching that show at the beginning of the year are gone because they know what to get. They know what they're going to what, what to expect instead of a show that really yeah. analyzes the media. And trust me, as somebody who writes about it, Benjamin, there's a lot to discuss besides one network, believe me. Well, you know, Joe, no matter what they try, it's just not working. And as you pointed out, uh, ratings over here yeah. are skyrocketing. So thank you, everyone at home, for watching. Joe Concha, for joining us again. Thank you very much. Take care, Benjamin. Have a good one.